Good day, I am Musical Madison Cantillo and for today I'm going to perform the administering intradermal injection for a skin test. The rationale for doing this is for the nurse to assess if the patient has an allergy on a specific medication. So for this procedure, we need first to verify the doctor's order. The rationale is to reassure if we're administering the right medication to the patient thus it will lessen the harm and the next is we need to perform hand hygiene and observe other infection control procedure the rationale is to prevent the spreading of microorganisms and the next is we need to identify and explain plan and procedure to the client the rationale for doing this is in order for us to know if we're handling the right patient or of course, for the patient to have an awareness what we will be going to do and why it is necessary, thus he or she can cooperate. And the next is we need to provide privacy for the patient. The rationale is in order for the patient to be comfortable while doing the whole procedure. So for this procedure, the equipments that we will be needing are, of course, the medication card where it contains the name of the patient, the frequency, the dose, of the medication and then next is we need to have a syringe which which measures one cc and then of course the aspirating needle for the withdrawal of the distilled water of course so for this procedure we will be needing or i will be needing a distilled water for a skin test and then we need to have a bondage if necessary and of course the the cotton balls with alcohol in order for us to perform the antiseptic technique and of course i need also to have a clean gloves okay so next is i need now to prepare the medication from ampule or vial but now i will be using from distilled water since it is a skin test i will be using a distilled water and now I will now going to withdraw the medication, the distilled water. So I will be needing a the syringe and of course the aspirating needle. So here. So the measurement that we will be needing is approximately 1 ml, 0 0.1 rather, 0 0.1 ml for the skin test. So we need to withdraw, inject here, and then get 1 ml. Right. So after we injected 1 ml, we will be back the original uh, needle of the syringe. All right. So after I withdraw the drug, I need now to clean the site where we will be inserting the fluid in the patient. So prior to that, we need first to, of course, identify the patient. So using the medication record, we need to verify if it is really the patient. So sir, are you Mr. CJ Cantillo? Yes. And then the dose is 0 0.1 ml. So if it's 0 0.1 ml, our fluid is 0 0.1 ml. And then now, we will now proceed on cleaning the site. So in choosing the site where we will be injecting the fluid, avoid the site where it is swollen or it has a lesion or it is inflamed or it is tender. So we will avoid that. So for this site, 
it is clear there are no lesions there there is no tenderness observed and then there are also no inflammation presence of inflammation okay so after that we will now apply a clean gloves And then now we need to clean the side using a this using this cotton ball seed alcohol using a circular motion from the center going outward we need to uh, do it thoroughly so that the side will be clean and then this one will be discarded and then let us or I will wait for the alcohol or the antiseptic to dry. So uh, we need to we need now to prepare the injection or for the syringe for injection we need to remove the cup and then uh, we need to wait for the antiseptic to dry. So while waiting we need to remove or expel the bubbles that are present in the syringe if there are bubbles we have to expel this all right okay so we've switched our position since i'm a right-handed so that i will inject the fluid uh more correctly and then for this procedure for this part of the procedure we have to grasp or i have to grasp the syringe between my thumb and forefinger and then place it parallel to the skin surface just like this okay so after that using my non-dominant hand i have to pull the skin at the side until it will thaw. and the next is we need to or i need to insert the tip of the needle far enough to place the bevel through epidermis and dermis so the angle of the syringe should be 5 to 15 degrees only so it should be looks like parallel on the skin surface and then after that, I need to stabilize the needle and inject the medication slowly and carefully. So this is how, or I will now inject. And then after I inject, I have to uh, remove the needle carefully and slowly. So it will it will have a wheel. Okay, so we will now discard the syringe on the sharps container. So I will show you the wheel that I have that I made. Okay, so this was the wheel that i have that i created all right so after that i have to uh i have to draw an outline where it where the i have to encircle rather the wheel and then write the time so this time is 5 o'clock p.m. So, I will write 5.30 p.m. So, this time I will have to observe if there are changes on the skin of the patient. So, that it if it has a changes such as it contains redness or rashes, Therefore, it indicates that the patient has an allergy on any specific medications. 
So after doing the procedure, uh, we have to make sure, or I have to make sure that the area will not going to be massaged, or do not massage the area because it will expel the. I'm sorry. It will expel the fluid inside. And then next is the syringe that I've used will be go on the sharps container. And then I will now dispose the gloves that I use for this procedure on one place. And then circle, just like what I done. Circle the the side or the the wheel so that we will determine if there are changes and then after care all of the materials that already used and wash hands in order to prevent the spreading of microorganisms and document all of the procedure that i have done thank you